Okay, here's the deal. Uh, somebody asked me to show the steps for installing links, L-I-N-K-S, onto your Ubuntu system. Now, I'm hoping I can do this without, I, without YouTube being picky, because the last couple of iShow U's I did, it didn't like it. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Very first thing we're going to do is open up a terminal. Now, um, by the way, this is not the default text. Um, I switched this because this is a lot easier on my eyes. Anyway, uh, now that we're here, we're going to type sudo apt-get install links. And there we go. And it's done. Quick and easy. Now, what if we want to use it? Well, that's simple enough. I'm just going to type in links. Now, we are in links, even though it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to type G. Go to URL. Let's go to um, ubuntu.com. And I'm going to enter. And bam! Whole page right there. And if I go, uh, let's, uh, what is Ubuntu? Right arrow? There we go. And I have to down arrow past all of these. And take a look here at the bottom. It gives you exactly what the URL is, which I think is interesting. Um, let's see. Here we go. And then it tells you, you know, what is Ubuntu. Um, take a look up here. It says page 4 of 9, which means that um, it... It t takes the web page and puts it into different pages. So, but this is all the information here. Now, let's go to another website, Google. Okay, and you go down. By the way, it's up and down to navigate the links. Right to activate or basically go forward. You can also use Enter. Left to go back. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to search for Ubuntu Linux. And we're going to go down here, and we could push either enter or the right arrow, and I'm going to do the right arrow. One of the things that I really, really like about links versus LYNX is the fact that um, I don't get these constant reminders of whether or not I want to um, uh, accept cookies. Yes, I know there is an always option, but I never seem to remember to click it. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have those problems, so yeah go me for stupidity but anyway here is what we get we get a search um, pretty much everything you would see on the regular Google page here we go uh, remote Ubuntu online I don't want that um, here we go Ubuntu Linux right here so if I it says here Ubuntu is a free Debian derived uh, Linux based operating system and so on and so forth it gives you all the different stuff it gives you the URL and take a look down here in the white uh, that's basically what the URL is so I'm going to push uh, right arrow and we're right back. Now if I go left arrow, and we are back at Ubuntu. Now, let me show you something though. There is one thing that this cannot do, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to hotmail.com because I have an account there. Now, this basically means that you cannot use links to, um, to sign in, okay? So that's one of the major downs, um, downers to this. If I go ahead and t press escape, you get a menu bar. And this menu bar, um, this is all the stuff in here, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, one of the nice things, uh, incidentally, it says here history. One of the interesting things I like about this is how it doesn't store it. In other words, the second I close links, the history is going to be gone. So let's go to history, and I'm going to go ahead, right arrow, or actually, I'm sorry, let's see, is it enter? There we go. And this is all the history that I have here. Let me escape out of this and out of this. And now we're on a link. I'm going to push Q. Do I want to quit? Yes, I do. I'm going to push Y. And now I'm going to go back into links go to, well, actually this time I'm not going to go to a URL, um, I'm just going to push escape, file, history, now this is going to be interesting, I want to see, ah, here we go, no history, so when you get out of it, it doesn't save it, 
So that's really, really nice. Um, you can go through the menus here. All this is, um, you know, just general stuff. You have a full user's guide in here, which I have not really had the chance to look at. If we go to keys here, full command list. Um, one of the nice things I like here, if you notice here, it says cursor to start end braille only, cursor to status line or title braille only. Now, braille only, what does that mean? That means that they've taken accessibility into account with this browser. They have essentially taken the needs of a blind person into account. It is braille display ready. I'm going to go ahead and type Q. Or actually, first of all, I guess I have to escape out of here. There we go. Now I'm going to type Q. And yes, I do. And I'm going to exit out. And I'm going to go back to this. So that's pretty much a quick uh, tour of, lin of links and how to install it. Um, I hope YouTube is playing nice with this. If it's not, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Comments are welcome. Questions, uh, thank you very much. And if anybody has anything about the YouTube thing, if this does get cut off, because it's supposed to be, I'm thinking between somewhere between six and nine minutes. So if it's anywhere less than that, please let me know immediately because I want to try and fix this. If you know how to fix it, please let me know. Um, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice evening.